Well, here we are with the babies in the aviary. The male is very territorial here. We let the baby, uh, the, the baby quail out, um, brought them out of the house and put them in the aviary and they just disappeared. They just were frightened and they went and hid. But the male, uh, when the, when the button, the baby buttons would be out, would, would fluff himself up and be really big and chase the poor biddies, the babies, and, uh, uh, and they would go hide. And one hid so well yesterday, I couldn't find it. Where'd you babies go? Come on out and have your greens. Huh? You want to have your greens? Have some bromeliads in bloom today. Here's a baby. They do all right down in the little canyon. Haven't had some any much rain for a few days, so there's not much water in it. Oh, and there they are having their lettuce. Yeah, those biddies like lettuce. Have to chop it up really fine. They have little feathers growing now. They're just a little over two and a half weeks old. Oh, very good biddies. Yes. They don't have much feathers on their head yet. So they have sort of a, a, a buffy colored head so far. But they're adapting very well to aviary life. Much better than being in a big plastic tub, I would think. Plenty of places to hide. I didn't find I, one went missing yesterday, and I finally found it. Uh, it's just squeezed in behind a, a little tray of dirt that was right against the wire, and it was in a space that <laughs> there really wasn't a space. So I was glad I finally found it and let the poor thing out. So everybody looks good this morning. It was a reasonably warm night. It was in the, I don't know, probably 68 or so. Uh, and uh, so everybody everybody had gotten together by, by uh, dusk. And uh, Mommy was with all four babies. And so if they were cold, they could try to get under. They don't all fit now. Uh, but uh, they can cuddle up together, which I guess they did. We grind up the finch seed really, really fine so they can really eat that easily. I think they're going to like it in the aviary.